President Donald Trump has landed in Saudi Arabia as he begins his first foreign tour since taking office. He touched down in the Middle East Saturday morning, hours after tweeting about his excitement for his first big foreign trip. Trump flew to the capital Riyadh overnight on Air Force One becoming the only president to make Saudi Arabia, or any majority Muslim country, his first stop overseas as president. The president got the red carpet treatment literally and some airport workers took off their shoes before manicuring it with brooms in 97 degree heat. The Saudi king later presented Trump with the kingdom's top civilian honor, the Gold King Abdulaziz Medal, at the royal court. There were 30 US flags at the ready at the airport, a tiny fraction of the thousands that line streets and highways between the airport and the city center. A 90-person Royal Saudi Air Force's Honor Guard practiced rifle drills and then stood at attention while Trump and his kingly escort ambled toward the terminal. He heard an eight-bugle fanfare, watched a seven-jet flyover trailing red, white and blue smoke. And cannon fire. Lots of cannon fire, which didn't cease until Trump and King Salman were safely inside. Inside the terminal, the fragrant smell of oud filled the air as workers burned the aromatic wood in charcoal lamps. Wafting Saudi oud scents also permeate the air in the souks marketplaces that snake through the oldest part of town. Just steps away is Ad-Dira, known to locals as Chop Chop Square because of periodic public beheadings. Trump will face questions over the weekend about the wisdom of establishing partnerships with a government known for human rights violations and for its treatment of women. Females cannot drive cars in the kingdom, and their every move, from travel to shopping, is overseen by male family members. On Saturday the only females seen among the welcome retinue were a pair of small girls presenting flowers and an African-American woman, who turned out to be a U.S. Secret Service agent. Melania and Ivanka Trump seemed determined to make a statement by deplaning without head coverings, a rare sight among women in Riyadh whose main choices are the hijab and the niqab. Still, the First Lady stayed a half dozen steps behind King Salman and her politician husband, escorted by a lone U.S. Marine in full-dress uniform.